welcome back to Team Xylem. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to port forward your Minecraft server so that you can have a public IP address and your friends can play with you. Now, uh, in the previous tutorial we made a Minecraft server, I'm going to go stop this, and then open up your internet browser, um, and what we want to do is find out the the IP that your router uses. So to do this, type in CMD into the search bar, then type in IP, no space, config. Then it should come up with all this information. So what we're looking for here is the local area connection, Ethernet adapter local area connection, and then the default gateway, which is what your router uses, 192.168 168 do this in your internet browser dot one dot two five four now i'm using bt bt internet and what it will do is it will load up um the settings and everything you need to know about your router so to get started you want to find something which says settings and then type in your password and then I've already set a password. Now if you're stuck on how to um, get to all the settings and everything, go to portforward.com and it's got a load of help about how to uh, uh, port forward stuff. So just go to routers, select your router that you have, BT. Close this advertisement because you can buy it. And then select the router type, I have a BT Home Hub 2. And then you want to select the game. So if we click on M, go down to Minecraft server, click on that. And then it will tell you everything you need to know. Um, so obviously I have a different router, it will tell you all the things. I know how to do this now, so I'm going to show you how I do it with my router. So you go to settings, advanced settings. Continue to advance settings, port forwarding, and then once you're onto something a bit like this, I'm going to unassign this right now because um, I'll show you guys how to do this uh, the legit way. Um, you're going to be on something like this, so you, you're going to have a thing where you're selecting a load of applications that you've got and then a device and you apply it to a device. Now what you want to do is you want to press supported applications and then add, I'll delete this again, Minecraft server, don't want that. And then add a new game, wait for it to refresh, add a new game or application and then we're on to the actual bit where you uh, type in the port. So we'll call this Minecraft server as before copy, no we're not going to copy anything else, and then TCP, so when you're onto something where you're typing in the ports, you go to TCP 25565 25565 again 25565 two, two, oops sorry 525565 and then UDP, oops sorry, add this and then UDP 25565 and then if uh, double check it it's all right add that 25565 it's all 25565 then press apply go back to your configuration select a game or application minecraft server Select the device that mine is Joe PC. I've got I had another computer called Joe PC. It's a bit confusing, but I think it's the second one. Then press add and apply. If this doesn't work, I'll select the other Joe PC and then that, that should work. Um, exit full screen. Right now, um, what we do is we go to make a new tab, then type in my. IP and Google is very nice and it tells you your IP address for you. If you if you want to find that out, um, no, that's basically the only way you can do it. You can go to whatismyipaddress.com and there are some other ways of doing it through your computer, but it's the easiest way if you've got access to the internet. Obviously, you would have access to the internet. Right, copy this in. Done. 
go down. Can't reach server. Sorry, I need to actually open up the server before I do this. Server launch. And then what you'll notice is not only will it um, appear on localhost, but you can also uh, use a public IP. Now, if you want a friend, yep, there you go, 81.129.5.152. Now, if I show you if you didn't have this port forwarded, so if I unassign this and then press apply, then what you'll notice is that the that this IP that you've got would not work. See the polling can't reach server. Then if I apply it again, so it's pretty neat how it all works uh, well. Because I think a lot of the time people get um, confused with all this IP stuff, but it's really just as easy to go to portfor.com and then search for your router and then just follow the guide on the Minecraft server. Um, I was just showing you how to how to um, how it would look, give you a visual representation. Joins Minecraft server again. Join server. And now um, you can uh, play with friends, you can get a friend on here and he can use that IP address. Um, now this is quite a short tutorial, um, so be sure to watch the next one. I'll be showing you how to make a IP address which can, you can customise yourself, put your own name with it, do anything you want with it. Um, yeah, again, example, teamsilam.hopto.org, be sure to watch that. Uh, thank you very much for watching guys, I'll see you guys later, bye!